today I'm starting off with a 16 ounce travel mug from Steel Magnolia. I have the bottom taped off and the top spray painted in a light blue. We are just going to add a little bit of epoxy on the top part. Taking our first color, this beautiful light blue called Feathers, we're just going to sprinkle it on the top half where we just applied the epoxy. Once you have the top glittered, you can instantly pull the tape off of the bottom section. You're going to epoxy that top half until smooth and measure in between the handle, which is about two and a half inches. Taking a ruler, I'm just going to mark out that two and a half inches and cut a strip of vinyl. Taking that vinyl piece we just cut, we're going to take the backing and just fold it back an inch or two. Line it up between the handle and press that section down. Repeat that process all the way around your cup until your vinyl meets underneath the handle. Moving on, we are going to measure that bottom section that we left previously, and I'm going to cut my second pattern vinyl at an inch and a half and leave a little bit of that white exposed. Just as we did before, we're gonna fold the backing behind and just work with an inch or two at a time, going around your cup until the vinyl meets. Once you get to where your vinyl meets up, just take your X-Acto knife and trim off that extra vinyl. Taking some tape, we're just going to tape off the vinyl we just placed to protect it from our next step. Now that we have the bottom taped off, I'm just going to take this light pink frosting acrylic paint and paint the bottom and that little white lip we decided to leave exposed. While that paint is still wet, we are going to take our second glitter color, which is Wild and Free, and we're going to sprinkle it all over the lip and the bottom of your tumbler. Measuring from our first vinyl color, I'm going to take a ruler and just measure above the vinyl about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to move to below the vinyl and mark a quarter of an inch with a pencil. Mm -hmm. 
following our pencil lines, I'm just going to tape off above the pencil line on the top and below the pencil line on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape off our vinyl to protect that also. Now that our cup is taped off all the way around, I'm just going to take a brown acrylic paint and paint in between the tape lines we just created. And while that is wet, we're going to add our third color called Broken Arrow. Now we are going to spray seal that glitter we just applied really well so it doesn't move around when we add epoxy. Now that your spray seal has dried, we're going to go ahead and add a coat of epoxy. Now every time I do one of these mugs, I get the question if the handle is hard to epoxy. And it's really not, you guys. Just add a little bit of epoxy, massage it around with your fingers, and take your finger around the base of the handle and smooth the epoxy out. I have my cup all sanded and smooth and ready for our super cute Stay Wild decal. I decided to add just a thin stripe of white vinyl on top of our feather vinyl just to make it look crisp and clean. Here is our finished travel mug. I think it turned out super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like more tips and tricks, join my Facebook group. The link will be in the description and look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust. Thanks guys.